Have you ever wondered what makes a motorcycle turn? Entire books have been written on the subject of motorcycle dynamics by people who are a whole lot smarter than me. And this video will not cover the subject of motorcycle dynamics in its entirety. But here's a tidbit of knowledge that you may not have ever thought about. A motorcycle tire, unlike a car tire, has a rounded profile. In fact, the center of a motorcycle tire has a greater circumference than the outside edge. So, if a motorcycle tire is riding in a straight line, the contact patch has an equal amount of rubber on each side. Kind of like a cylinder, it has an equal amount of rubber on each side, and when you roll a cylinder, it rolls in a straight line. But when you lean a motorcycle tire over, the difference in the circumference causes the tire to turn. It's kind of like this cone. When you roll this cone forward, it turns in the direction of the smaller circumference. You control the lean of the motorcycle by using counter steering. The harder you press, the further it leans. Here I am using counter steering to make the motorcycle go to the left and the right. Let's take a close up look from the rider's perspective to see how I'm doing this. So I'm setting the cruise at 38 miles per hour on the Tenere. All I'm doing to make the motorcycle lean is using hand grip pressure or counter steering. So if I press on the right hand grip, the motorcycle goes right. If I press on the left hand grip, the motorcycle goes left. The harder you press on the hand grip, the more the motorcycle is going to lean in that direction, causing it to turn quicker. Having a better understanding of how your motorcycle operates is going to put you in a better position to master the control of your motorcycle. So hopefully from this episode you've developed a little better understanding of how your input affects the motorcycle and causes it to do what it does. Because in future episodes we're going to look heavier into the whole concept of turning and curves and how to get your motorcycle through a curve smoothly. Most single vehicle motorcycle accidents happen in curves. And it's because people don't really have that concept of counter steering down. So this week I wanted to set the groundwork for why counter steering works and how you control it. And in future episodes we're going to get into more detail on cornering a motorcycle. So that wraps up episode 13 of MC Rider. We're going to take a little break for the holidays. We'll be back after the holidays with our next episode. In the meantime, if you haven't been to mcrider.com, Go there on the bottom of the home page. You can sign up for our email newsletter. The first newsletter you get is going to have a lot of ebooks at the bottom of it uh, that has some really valuable information that I think you'll enjoy reading through. Until our next episode, I hope you enjoy your holiday break. And until then, guys, I wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the road.